So today on this episode of Techtronics 101, I will be telling you guys how to install drivers for your TP-Link Wi-Fi adapters on your Kali Linux machine with monitor mode and pack injection working. Let's get started. So now I've opened terminal and then type in a command called sudo app update and hit enter and then enter your password and that's done and then type in a command which is called sudo apt upgrade and hit enter and type in y and hit enter and it's gonna take a long time so you have to wait Now a pop-up would appear like this asking that do you want to restart services during package updates without asking so that's an yes. So use your left arrow key to select the option yes and hit enter. And then another pop-up would appear like this telling you that display manager should be restarted manually so just hit enter. So now we have finished our installation and we are gonna restart our computer and then continue with the rest of the installation. So now we have restarted our computer and then let's continue with the rest of the installation. So open terminal, plug in your adapter and I have my commands over here. So you will find all the commands in the description below. So I'm gonna copy paste my first command which is sudo app install dkms or git enter your password and it will ask you wanna continue that's in yes general p typing in y and hit enter and that's done and so then copy paste copy and paste the next command and it was you wanna continue that's a yes so type in y and hit enter and that's done and so now let's download the driver files from github by using a command which is called git clone and that's done so now let's navigate into the downloader directly so 
So now let's navigate to the downloader directly with And that's done. So now let's navigate to the downloader directory using the command cd hit enter and then let's install the driver with sudo make dkms install And that's done. So now replug in your adapter. So now I have replugged in my adapter and reopen terminal and then type in a command which is ls usb and my device is detected. I'm using a TP link archer TTU plus and let's check it in with a command which is idle config and there you go it's detected as vlan0 let's check if it's able to detect wi-fi so go over here and yeah it's detected over here we'll click on select network okay so the device is able to discover wi-fi so let's see if so let's see if monitor mode can be enabled on this so for this i'm going to be typing in air mon ng check check kill i wanna i'm oh, sorry i put on a sudo air mon air mon ng check kill and enter your password okay that's done and enter another command which is sudo rmon-ng start vlan0 i am typing in vlan0 cause my system detected the Wi-Fi card as VLAN 0 I'll just go to a new tab to tell you what is it so when you typed in this command you must have got VLAN 0 or you must have got a different name so enter that name which you have got over here when you have typed in the command iwconfig after start so for me it's VLAN 0 I'm gonna be typing in VLAN 0 okay so monitor mode is enabled so the Let's reconfirm it by typing rwconfig. Okay, that's plan zero. And okay, this monitor mode successfully enabled. Test if injection is working with the command air e play air e play hyphen ng hyphen hyphen test plan zero here for me it's vlan0 so i'm typing in vlan0 so again if it's not vlan0 for you type in the name of the wi-fi card which your system has detected so for me it's vlan0 i want to be typing in vlan0 and hit enter i'm sorry just rerun the command with sudo something like this sudo i replay hyphen ng space hyphen hyphen test of vlan0 and hit enter Oh, there you go. Injection is a working. So, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. 
and see you in the next video. It's all about humanity.